Hello everybody, welcome to another episode. Tonight I'm out trying my hand, I'm gonna try to get some night shots. Now I had hoped that uh, we'd get some Milky Way shots in because the the sky looked very very promising earlier but now it is cloudy. However I still wanted to come out and try to get some shots because we do have an almost full moon out so I'm getting just enough illumination that, I don't know, maybe I can get some good shots. I'm hoping that illumination will provide enough light on the foreground and taking long exposures might yield some interesting results. So I hope you guys are nice and warm watching this. I'm going to go out and brave the cold. doing something rather rash and well just going too fast I dropped my lens fortunately it does seem to be okay it's uh I don't know if you can see that little scratched up however it does appear to be fine so even though it has a little scratch right here and a little bit of it did break off it's, you know, even at nighttime, you know, you got to take things slow, methodically, and unfortunately, I just paid the price of trying to rush. That being said, however, I think we're still good to shoot, so let's go ahead and get set up. So the goal for this shot is going to be fairly simple. I'm now on an old country road and there is almost no light for about 15 or so miles, but I'm getting a splendid view even though we are getting an overcast night of Gold Hill here in Idaho. So thankfully my lens is still working and my plan is to Take a couple of test shots because I really want to feature this hill predominantly. So with such a long exposure, the clouds should light up and provide a beautiful long exposure of the central mountain. Well, the plans changed just a little bit now. That fall of the uh, 28, uh, the 14 to 24 was a little bit more severe than I thought. Um, I didn't see any scratches on the lens, but it's very difficult now to rotate it through its range. You know, going from 14 to 24 is getting a lot of resistance. Man, that just, uh, you always kind of wonder when it's going to happen to you, and unfortunately it happened to me tonight. Fortunately, I brought the 24 to 70, and the shot that I'm hoping to get now is going to require a little bit more reach than what the uh, super wide angle could get anyway. So, you no, know, all is not lost, but once again, when you come out at night, when it's cold, windy, make sure you're up for the challenge because just like that, equipment, or even worse, can get broke. So I'm having pretty good success now. The full moon is uh, shining brightly through the cloud layer, which I did not expect. And with that almost full moon, I'm able to achieve a 30 second exposure at about f2.8 of only, but well, I'm only using an ISO of 160. Now I've gotten a few photos that I kind of like, but I'm still trying to dial in my composition exactly and I will probably stop down just for sharpness sake to probably F4 but yeah so far everything's going really well Thank you. 
got that shot in the bag and I'm actually very, very, very happy with it. But as most of you guys know, is you know, I'm a diehard Forerunner fan, so I can't help but get a good night shot of the old photo runner. And what's happening right now is we are getting um, this beautiful half uh, moon rainbow almost, and it's right above my truck. So I'm down here on the ground, Sorry. set up, trying to get a cool shot. It's pretty cool. All right, so with that shot done, I think we're gonna head down the road a bit, maybe up to the mountains because the sky is starting to clear again and you know, who knows? Might get some pretty cool shots. Well, I decided to take a risk and go down some of these uh, old first service roads and it might pay off. Uh, I've already seen a few uh, places that have a possibility, but what I'm looking for specifically is to get high as I can up these mountains and hopefully find a clear patch where I can shoot through. So. Whether that actually happens or not, you know, I don't know, but I've already found a couple that might work. So I'm gonna continue driving up this mountain. Hopefully we get something, hopefully we get something good. Well, no more than really I just said what I was looking for that I did find uh, hopefully what might be a good composition. I'm up here pretty much on top of the mountain and I'm looking down a valley. Now this part of the forest has been cleared by loggers and thankfully that they've been maintaining this road. But it is bitterly cold up here so I'm gonna go ahead set up the shot see what we can get off in the far distance i can see uh some houses their lights are just twinkling in the dark the moon still providing some illumination so that gives me hope and get a good shot going So I got my composition lined up. Um, I've taken a few test shots, just experimenting with apertures. Normally, when I'm doing these nighttime photos, I uh, tend to shoot wide open. However, because I'm shooting a landscape scene instead of just a regular star shot, I've decided to go ahead and stop down a bit. And I'm at 5.6, and I think that's a good aperture because it is giving me a nice sharp image um, for the subject that I want and so I'm just now moved on to seeing what type of ISO that I need to be at. That moon has lost some of its luminance but I'm still getting some great light over this valley leading up to the next mountain range 
which is man it's really cool um so i'm at lower isos i'm shooting right now about 320 iso i might bump that up a little bit as need be but it is looking pretty good um it's hard to tell on the back of these illuminated screens because it always appears brighter and the histogram is not really useful right now but yeah i think i'm gonna just sit here for a little bit a uh, while longer and see what i can come up with Those photos did turn out really good. I'm very happy that I decided to come out. Yeah, we didn't get any star shots, but we got some really interesting cloud formations with the long exposure. So that's probably going to do it for me tonight. I'm going to go up this road a little bit more because I know there's a turnaround up here. And barring anything spectacular, I think now is a good time to call it quits. You know, I'm still grieving. The loss of my ultra wide angle i'll have to send that into nikon fortunately the body of the d850 is a very robust camera system so that does not seem to be um that was not injured at all and it was lucky that i had that l bracket on because it while it hit that lens it also hit the corner of the l bracket and all that did was scratch it so yeah my first casualty but that's photography for you so until next time we we'll catch you outside <laughs>